hello guys so in this video tutorial we are going to see how we can implement our own google search uh, using python so let's get started so in this video tutorial we will see that uh, first of all how google works so when we type arch linux or maybe we can say linux 4.114 so what google does it has a url here so let's open up a terminal and paste it url here so as you can see uh, our search term is linux 4.14 so the basically what happens forget about these uh, little things uh, right now i'm select google.co.in slash search question mark q query equals to linux plus 4.14 so we just have to implement single text uh, i mean we have to just add one line whatever our query is to the google and we can get an html page and then if we inspect using firefox so we got this code it's just an html code which we get here so what we have to do is if we click here as you can see these lines of code there is id search form so the search form is just code for these lines uh, on a visual so we have to grab text from this search engine i mean this web page sorry so what we have to do is we have to grab only one main and then uh, i think it's here somewhere and we have to just grab that class st and spawn and then we just find our query so let's get started now first of all now first of all we will define our environment like um slash bean slash python oops sorry user bean python 2 like that and we just have to save here on desktop we're gonna say it like a sample search dot py first of all we have to define our input so when user will input in our function and it will get output from website so first of all you define function main and this means it is recommended to do this this is for mainly when you run a script then if name is equal to is equal to main when you run a script directly from a command line like uh, if you type in a command like like uh, python2 and sample search.py then this main command will be executed so first of all we have to do is uh, save our input uh, query equals to raw input and raw input will get a uh, input from user and then we will type enter your query now there are a couple of libraries we have to use so first of all beautiful soap is a fantastic library for this purpose now import beautiful i think be beautiful yeah beautiful soap and then we are importing beautiful shop like oops from bs4 import beautiful shop okay now first of all hello world now as you can see there is a space between hello and world so what we have to do we have to replace that space with this with the plus sign so what we are going to do is we are just using keyword equals to query dot replace and then we are just using space so basically this is the space this one thing is space and then replace it with plus sign so that's it now we have to just create another uh, variable which is google search equals to now there is a link uh, um i have copied from online somewhere so just i am grabbing from here and paste it and this whole is the link 
you can actually use this link also but uh, maybe it's not working I was when I was trying to get so you have to just I will link down this thing in comment section and why just okay so now we have to append our query to this string so basically this is our string consider this is our string you have to append our query to it and then key word now what we are going to do is we are importing request uh, key, uh, sorry library so what we are going to do is we are requesting HTML page from Google so let's create a variable r equals to request dot get and then our Google search right now we are just printing this so we will get the idea and uh, who is Elon oops is Elon Musk right so it's our so our response got 200 which is okay response I mean it's a success right so we are just uh, printing now pr dot uh, text and then Firefox so this whole thing is our search if we save it as a HTML we can actually open it in a Firefox but we are not going to do that we are just grabbing our input I mean our search results from the HTML so what you are going to do is we are creating another variable so I, I am making so much variables but it's necessary now beautiful soap it's our new object so soap, uh, soap is actually a object actually uh, beautiful soap is a class so r dot text and then we are using html dot parser right parser okay done now url I mean url equals to soap dot find all and then uh, we have to find a span class and then it's not a class maybe it's some sort of uh, I just grab from my internet print for you in URL and then print you text and then we will only printing our first result now what sort of things is going on we have first of all create our uh, link then we are requesting a web page then we are reading that HTML using class and then there is a span something is span I don't know and reading a class st then we are getting one input so class is uh, basically there are number of uh, results here so you are just uh, reading these results here right so we just run here again and if we have firefox so our query is firefox now download fire mozilla firefox a free web browser now if we search here like uh, firefox then we get this download mozilla file so this is the first result we got here we can actually read this thing also this big thing these some top stories we can also read that so if we want to like summary of the changes and uh, so well type what is oops like uh, oops so let's type what uh, is linux right so we got Linux it's a free been around since the mid 90s and has reached a user date industry like blah 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 like that and now if we type here what is Linux right so it's been a same result you are getting here now sometimes occur that first result is not a convenient way for you to identify what is going on so like if this is not a pleasant answer for your what is Linux the best answer is here Linux is the base known and most used op operating system right so we have to grab another um, another text from 
this search result so what we are going to do is so what we are going to do is we will create a array for a whole results right so we just declare here search results equal to an array and then append all array dot append and you dot text right now all things are up and running now if now what we are going to do is we are getting a keyword another so if the query dot equals oops query is equal to another then print then i equals to i plus one and then so print search results i right and initialize i with uh, equals to zero and l if oops i equals to zero right so what sort of thing is going on if we type another then it will grab another i uh, i mean next result from search result so i equals to zero so if i first of all is zero then zero plus one equals to one so one result it grab from the search results now let's test it uh, okay so we are here we will print here just print for you we are printing just first result uh, i mean zero result zero the first result you guys know that zero is the first in the array now oops there is something going on syntax okay so it's just here it has to be else oops in hurry oh, yeah, i just forgot that now what is linux so the first result is not oops we have to do in this in a loop uh, and so basically to create a loop it's just a simple thing you have to do a while what is linux so it's been around another since which is not a pleasant um result for us so we type another and we get oops i refers before assignment uh, so maybe i put here global i to make a global what is linux and type another and as you can see linux is the most best known most used open source operating system which i am using right now so it's just a linux it's not a mac it's a gnome desktop environment for your kind information so this is it thank you for watching and the next tutorial you have to give me a comment uh, what should i post in the python next so there are basically a number of uh, things i have to do on python so you can actually do this script using like cd desktop and ch mode a plus x and samples now you have to just uh, use uh, sample it's basically fine without using a python so you have made a script right now for your raspberry pi you can implement this in raspberry pi so you can do google search without any using any other libraries so you can also search from different countries using this you have to just tweak this url nothing else and it has also a client for ubuntu so you are not going to get a robot.txt anything else so thank you guys for watching and talk to you in the next one